All right, let me just say what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let please. me just say what I'm gonna say. Like, black people really up in arms about this Kanye thing. And I'm gonna be honest with you. To me, this is rich people problems. Yeah. This rich folk problems. <laughs> sure. Because at the end of the day, yeah. if you take a billion dollars from anybody, what did it really cost you? Mm -hmm. And I told Miles this, I never believe anybody can earn, listen to very carefully what I'm saying to you. I don't believe you can earn a billion dollars. I okay. believe you're allowed to have it. Sure. Gatekeepers allow the industry to open its proverbial legs to you yeah. where you can get in and get access to that. But with that being said, we don't think it's concessions. Mm -hmm. If I'm a billionaire or a multi, multi billionaire, if I'm powerful enough to give you a billion dollars, right? Who am I? Yeah. So what you <laughs> right. say, if I'm in business with you, because you're an investment, you're an investment. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you a billion dollars because it's a return on this money. Yeah. So in saying that, don't you have to adhere to things that are pivotal and important and foundational to what I do? Don't you have to take on the importance of things that are important to me because we're in business together right. and I just gave you a billion dollars. Right. I don't think Jewish people are the most evil people in business. Mm -hmm. I think some of the people watching me would do bad deals if you could get away with it. Right. Everyone try to get up. If you could go into your job right now and say, I want a $10 raise, but I want to work half the hours, would you do it? Mm -hmm. Right? Most people would, right? Mm -hmm. Take a $10 raise, but work half the hours. Yeah, but who's going to... Exactly. On the, who, on the other side, who's going to take that, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. So it's not bad business. It's opportunity. Yeah. Jewish There's people a cost have of been that opportunity, right? op opportunistic with black people. Let's be honest. This culture... This culture that we covet so much and that is, you know, under attack from the Jewish people, they financed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They financed the culture. Go to Russell Simmons' page and listen to him. Syrian Jews finance this. A guy named Rick Rubin. I guarantee you he's not black. I'm listen, even if I didn't know who he was, you Rick Rubin is not a black guy. <laughs> right. You know, no one's with the first name Ari is typically a black guy. <laughs> right. So right. what I'm saying to you is they were willing to get in bed with black people when white people weren't. Right. When the rest of the world, especially in music, if you go way, way back, Jewish people have always kind of been in business with blacks in the music industry. Sure. Because no one else would give us a deal mm. they saw the the talent but at the same time they saw the what opportunity mm -hmm. yeah you can't right. hate a race for being good business people 